Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I just want to share with you the basics of BC BTSD trades. Uh, the basic is that, uh, for example, suppose you want to do a BTSD trade, you invest uh, after 3:15 when the stock market is ending or the share market is ending. Uh, time is uh, uh, for option trading. It's 3:30, and uh, for the regular share market is 3:15. Uh, so, if uh, BTSD trade can be done in option trading. So, if you're doing a BTSD trade, what you need to do is uh, invest after 3:15. Uh, so 315 uh, after you invest at uh, 315 uh, first, first of all before you invest uh, you need to see you need to do a little bit of risk management and see um, for example how you want to invest you want to invest with how much what is the amount of risk you want to take and what is the amount you want to invest suppose you are willing to take a risk of say 1000 rupees so you invest 1000 rupees and you wait for the next day for the uh, price to go up so suppose you have invested in call option and uh, you are expecting a bullish uh, trend uh, next day so if the call option goes up you make good amount of money okay and in btsd what happens is in a single move you get about 200 200 points you get so you make a good amount of money even old day you sit and trade and you you are not able to make that that much uh, this it it makes a difference but then still uh, in btsd trade you can make a good amount of money uh, uh, just uh, if you wait uh, for one for one night okay so one night you have to uh, wait and next day in the morning when the stock opens up you have to do the you have to see like how what is opening so if you have invested in call option what happens is you have to uh, see that next day whether the call option is gone up okay if you invest in put option you have to see that whether the put option is gone up so these are the ways you do btsd trades so how do you analyze uh, btsd trade you you follow certain patterns you you learn to predict a uh, stock market is uh, not predictable but then you you learn to predict okay you feel you try to see for some patterns or some certain certain events which have happened in the past you try to see if those events are re repeating because some of the events they repeat repeat in the stock market so you try to uh, work see if those events are repeating and you try to invest in the btsd trade okay so btsd trade is uh, very simple and it doesn't require a lot of uh, it doesn't have a lot of stress well, when you invest in a small uh, quantity okay you, you either invest in small quantity or small amount okay don't invest in don't take big risk or big uh, uh, big risk in your capital okay and uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to follow certain strategies like diverting your capital to certain other things and if you are earned some money you need to divert some money somewhere else okay so all these things you need to do so if you do it properly and you don't be hasty or you you have to practice patience and you have to be very patient in B btsg trade where well, things don't come quickly you have to wait you have to practice okay so i would suggest do with small amount of money and don't do it do it with big amount of money okay then you can calculate that so for example if you have a if you have say oh, say 50000 okay you uh, do a BT, btsg trade of say 5000 okay so if you say 5000 if you if you do a btsg trade of 5000 so you have 10 trades okay to 10 trades so you don't have to do it regularly maybe you do it twice in a week or because you know, twice in a week you know the market would trend in a particular way okay or in one particular week you feel like okay one one particular day you feel the market would trend in a particular way so try you try to take advantage of that as per your experience okay so you do a btsg trade so two or two times you don't do it every day okay because every day what happens is uh, there could be a uh, little bit of stress involved and little bit of confusion also sets in so don't do it every day we'll wait for some days relax and you know uh, learn to relax in stock market learn to relax don't be hasty okay don't be impatient hasty to earn money then learn to relax uh, we all observe everything uh, keep observing okay uh, don't be don't be hasty to learn things if one person is saying something don't be hastily conclude that okay this is something i need to do okay don't do anything hastily okay so in stock market you have to be very patient and you have to give yourself time to learn okay and in btsd 10 you trade after 315 315 you put the money in next day you expect it to uh, uh, see if it goes in your favor or not okay and uh, suppose if you are uh, if suppose it is a friday that you invest on friday and you wait for monday to market monday market to open in positive way okay 
and the sudden sudden times what happens is sub so friday mostly friday uh, saturday sunday friday if there is a 3 day gap okay between trading so means the, there is a 3 day holiday okay so what happens is usually uh, market sometimes opens in a negative way and it gives a very big big uh, move in morning itself so you have to take advantage of that move and you have to see whether you have to invest in call or put option okay so whenever you do a bts trade uh, you need to follow certain patterns or certain strategies and uh, it is it is more more or less you know like a swing trade okay it's a long trade okay so you need to follow a particular uh, pattern of the swing trade you need to do little fundamental analysis and you need to you need to uh, check uh, whether okay what is what events have happened or what what things have happened in the past okay you have to do all these things follow the news okay and follow a little bit of uh, certain certain nice uh, if you have the nice messages or anything anything nice you can just follow that okay and so some websites are there do give news like cnbc and investing.com certain 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 things you can just follow so see and if you get an, any idea or a clue okay it's like you are you are like an investigator you investigate and you see search for clues if you are getting some clues or some ideas or some something okay stock stock market is something that you need to take advantage of stock market in every situation okay uh, you don't have to say that okay it's very confusing or anything you have to be positive and every situation what stock market offers you do take advantage of that okay so don't don't uh, uh, say that stock market is very confusing or anything you have to be positive and take advantage of every situation but just follow the risk management if you know how to work on risk management and and the profits you generate you will not have any problem okay i'll just i'll just uh, share with you about the profits also i'll in this video only okay just came to my mind uh, profits is something for example suppose out of 10000 you earn 100 rupees okay out of 10000 100 rupees 100 100 rupees is 10 percent okay so you calculate okay you earn 10 rupees but you feel like okay i should earn more okay you sh- you feel that i should earn more and you try another transaction and that transaction doesn't work out okay so what happens is uh, you you for example you earn 100 but you you are not able to hold on to that 100 rupees okay because that other transaction did not work out so what happened was if you had not done the other transaction for example you had only 10% okay and next day you would have done for example another trade and you have earned about say 6% so if you calculate this over a period of time now it gives you a good growth okay so 10% 6% 5% 20, maybe 20% 30% if you calculate this no on a daily basis it gives you a good growth you don't have to do trade um, every moment okay you have to because what happens is you have to first of all you need to look for momentum momentum is very important trade if there is no momentum there could be a chance of confusion okay why confusion sets in because there is no momentum in stock market the market is not moving up or down very quickly or sp- spontaneously because if there is a momentum in or volatility in stock market and market is moving very quickly then there is a chance of you know like you can take uh, you can make some good amount of money but if the market is moving slowly so it is it is very it's very difficult to gauge as to how much the market how how the fast how fast market will go up or how fast the market will go down so you need to search for momentum first of all and uh, whatever profits you earn no profit is small even if, if if the profit is 5% if you in a single trade you got 5% so it's not small so be very happy with it okay and uh, keep on increasing your wealth keep on growing your wealth okay and i'm coming back to btsd btsd is something how you need to do it suppose you have 50000 you you just invest 5000 in btsd okay and you wait for the market to and don't do it regularly do it maybe two 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 times a week or one time a week just do that and see how how you get that increase okay maybe out of out of 5000 it might go to 15000 we do not know you might get such a big uh, breakthrough so let's see uh, how things work and uh, i hope you uh, understand about btsd and if you have any queries you can message me i can maybe make a video on that I'll also post uh, s- certain things on Telegram channel also. Okay, and I keep posting things on Telegram channel, and it's a paid channel, so the details of that is in the description. You can go through the details and uh, subscribe to my video and share my video because these are all, I mean, these are very good information, and this will definitely benefit you, and this will de- definitely help you do a better trade. 
okay I'll I'll just end this video right now thank you bye